this is kind of going to be an oddball thing today. I want to talk about this movie, The Misfits. Uh, this is a film from, I think it was 1961. Maybe it was 62. It was a screenplay by Arthur Miller and directed by John Huston. It stars Marilyn Monroe in her last full-length film, uh, finished production. She plays a character named Rosalind, who is a divorcee, who goes out to Nevada, and while she's out there with her friend, she runs into an aged cowboy, played by Clark Gable, named Gay. Him and his buddy, played by Eli Wallach, now you'd know Eli Wallach from The Magnificent Seven and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Those two guys, they convince her to come out to his old place. He, he He's a, uh, Eli Wallach's character is a widower. His wife has passed and Clark Gable and him are both just like struck by her and say, why don't you come hang out and just live, you know, for a while. So she does. She goes out to their place and kind of gets romantically involved with Clark Gable and it's just a strange film. It's filmed in black and white. And Clark Gable, you know, this is his last movie as well. He died, I think, right after production on this Wrapped. It was like before it was released, you know. He had, uh, I think, a heart attack, if I'm not mistaken. I know he was having health issues. But, yeah, it's it's a weird movie. Uh, I don't know what it is about this movie that I am attracted to. I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe it's the fact that it's tragic. It's kind of an interesting film. Oh, I let me continue. So they end up at one point, the three characters, I, I know I'm kind of all over the place with this review, sorry. These characters, uh, Eli Wallach, Clark Gable, they decide that they're going to, they got to make a living, right? So they they need a partner because they're going to go hunt some wild Mustangs. So they go to a rodeo where they meet up with Montgomery Cliff's character, who is a rodeo rider. And while they're there, it becomes apparent that uh, Rosalind doesn't like the rodeo. She finds it, anything with violence, she's very put off by it. And she finds the rodeo just a little too... You know, not to her taste. But these guys hook up, and, and this is film kind of meanders. It's kind of just a hangout movie with these characters just kind of living in their, their antiquated way of life. They're trying to hold on just to live on the fringes of society, hence the name The Misfits. And it all comes to a, a dramatic conclusion. Once they go out to the, the desert to hunt these Mustangs, um, everything just kind of explodes. It's like it, it just all starts to fall apart. All these relationships, they just start to disintegrate, and it's like watching a, a car crash in slow motion. Uh, this is a great performance by Marilyn Monroe, probably the best that I've seen out of her. And Clark Gable is really good in this movie. Everybody's great. Montgomery Cliff, you know, he was in Red River with John Wayne. Um, I don't know. This the, There was problems on this shoot. Marilyn Monroe was in and out of rehab. I think John Houston, if I'm not mistaken, was really getting into it with the cast. Uh, just if you read into what happened behind the scenes on this, this is a really troubled film and you can kind of see it on screen um, I don't know there's just something about it it's a haunting movie it's very melancholy it's not like something like hey let's throw on the misfits and have a good time now this is one where you watch it and you're you're just kind of like mesmerized by the car crash that you're witnessing on screen uh, it's it's a neo-western. It's kind of an anti-western. Um, this character, played by Clark Gable, is kind of what 
<laughs> the character that Waylon Jennings is writing about in his song Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys. You know, uh, they'll never stay home and they're always alone, even with someone they love. I mean, that pretty much sums up these characters in the movie. They're all loners that are trying to live together and it's just not working because they are all societal outcasts, people that live on the fringes, hence why they're called the misfits. So that's all I got. I, I really don't know what else to say about uh, this movie. Um, the score is interesting. It's got a score by Alex North. I like this movie. I don't know why I like it. I just do. I think that the script is really... The dialogue is very believable and well written. Although, I think if you're a person that's caught up in this post Me Too uh, era, there's going to be some scenes in this movie that are really questionable that a lot of people are going to be offended by. But, uh, wow. Catching these Mustangs, uh, the plan is to catch the horses and sell them to a dog food company so they're going to turn these wild horses into dog food and the parallels between these horses these wild horses and these untamed cowboys it's kind of like i don't know it's it's there's a symbolic thing going on there that it's a way of life that's disappearing and what a what a that just says everything about your life if you're hunting horses to turn them into dog food like that's bottom of the barrel so it all just comes to this bleak desolate end anyways that's all i got sorry that wasn't much of a review um i don't know why i like this movie anyways that's it thanks for watching god bless have a wonderful day